Sometimes we wonder what it would be like if we could truly be ourselves in any given moment. It's a funny notion nowadays to think that. It's not an easy thing to do, and I found somebody who lives his life by trying to make that his everyday reality. Hi, my name is John Franco, and I am the Moroccan man. I've been performing for about two years now. I started performing uh, in downtown Orange uh, with a guitar, acoustic guitar, and maracas by my side. I mainly do it just because, you know, most people are stuck behind a transparent computer screen all day, whether it be Facebook or Twitter or, you know, something else to kind of give a false reality of who they really are as a person. I feel the street corner usually is the best way to interact with uh, a human being face to face and not have any, any lies in between that, you know, no false realities there. You're forced to, you know, whether it be playing maracas or playing an acoustic guitar, you're forced to actually see the person, interact with the person, and, you know, see them for who they really are. You know, there's, there's no, there's no, there's no in between when it comes to that, I guess that's the best word you could say. Um, you just basically go with it, you know, you get to meet some really cool people, exchange stories, and, you know, get to see them for who they really are. It started making a little more sense, so I decided to interview a random person as he was jogging by to see if what he said had any foundation in our everyday lives. How many hours do you spend on Facebook, uh, whether it be your computer, your phone, um, just everything? Uh, well, I know I check my phone on a regular day basis. Um, with that, probably like maybe an hour altogether, but including the computer and everything, probably like three to four hours. Accumulated? Three to four hours? Yeah. Okay, and then the next question was, uh, when, when was the last time you read a book? A book? Uh, it's been a while, but normally I just read like muscle magazines and stuff like that. Uh, that, fitness, men's health and stuff. But book? Eh, not so much. Condescending as that sounds, I could see how one's viewpoint could change quickly after hearing about the average person's daily life. Tell me how, you know, how, what you think of the society uh, being consumed by you know, the media and, uh, and social networking, kind of elaborate on that. That's actually a really good question. You know, a lot of people don't realize it, but even driving in your car, a couple seconds you, you see a billboard here or, you know, told what to think, who to be, and what's cool and what's not cool. Uh, even when you go on you know, your Facebook page or whatever, there's always advertisements here or there. Um, I truly believe that, you know, taking that element out of it, you know, uh, most people are socially inept. They don't really know how to have a, a normal human conversation anymore without a like button or some sort of confirm that they're your friend, you know. Uh, I really don't feel like that's something it's necessary as an essential survival tool. And I feel that a face-to-face, -face, you know, interaction is the most important thing. I think um, with guitar, you know, it kind of, maracas and guitar, it kind of, you know, bridges that gap. You know, somebody walks by you and they're either A, they ignore you, or B, they're interested. And then you kind of get a, a good glimpse into, uh, you know, either their music past or, you know, how music affects them as a person. And I feel that, you know, I don't care what language you speak or, or you know, whatever religious views or political views, music's usually the universal tool. Um, that's why I try to incorporate that in my street performances. My name is John Franco, and I am the Moroccan Man. Thank <laughs> you.